Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca Stu and the Crew. It's Friday, so that means it's time for our weekly What's New at the Dollar Tree this week for the week of October 16th, 2020. So let's go shopping. First, we head over into apparel and accessories. They have a bunch of new fashion high socks. It says they're men's, but that really anybody can wear them. So they have the gray with the guitars. They have a white pair with the pretzels on them, a purple pair with some umbrellas, the green with the large beetles, and then my two personal favorites, which are the black ones with the mushrooms and the blue with the garden gnomes. They also had some new tote bags. They had the Jojo Siwa bag, the Little Mermaid, they also had um, Minnie Mouse and the Minions. The Minion bag says Better Together down at the bottom. They have Spider-Man and they had the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. They also had in some different tote bags that say Let's Go Explore. The purple one with the mermaid tail that says Stay Magical. The dark blue and yellow that says Believe in Yourself. Light blue and yellow that says Good Vibes. And the smaller tote bags with the three pockets and the center zipper pocket. All right, so let's move over into the arts and craft supplies and their craft kit. So they had in the mini tote bags this week. You can get them in pink, dark purple. They also had light purple, like a lilac color, and um, red. You get three in a package of those as opposed to the larger ones where you get two for a dollar. I also found the Crafters Square jump rings and the lobster claws for jewelry making. So that was really neat to see that they had those in. Never seen those before. They restocked the pencil and brush organizer and some new stencil sets. They had Mickey Jr., the LOL Surprise Doll stencil, Disney Frozen 2, and then the Disney Princess stencil. I also found these stickers by Crafter Square. You get nine in a pack. For this one here, it looks like a chalkboard background with some chalk drawings on the front. They also had these larger novelty stickers. You get six in a pack of those. They had some sweet treats. I really love the detail and the look to these stickers. They're a nice large sticker. You get um, this pack here as well. You get seven. They had a um, like butterflies, some flowers, and bumblebees. Or you can get the robots. They have the um, baby animals, some owls, uh, as well as some flowers, and then the little birdhouse there. Or the peace sign with the rainbow, heart, and shooting stars. And they restock these stickers, which they carry every year at Christmas time. At least the last two they have. So those are back out as well. I'm sure you guys have seen those before with the um, succulents and cactus and things as well. They also had the Crafter Square alphabet stickers in. They had some new designs and styles. So these all seem to have like um, a really pretty shimmer glitter to those. They had them in silver and in gold. There's several different styles and designs. You can get all capital, lowercase, block letters. You really just have to look through to see what your Dollar Tree is carrying. They also found these floral garden cotton pods. You get four in a pack for the smaller ones. They also have a larger size. You get three in a pack. They have these frosted snow covered flowers. It's just called greenery. They also had the ferns with the greenery and snow with the red berries and the white berries. And I found these crafting kits. They had this unicorn cord holder to hold like your um, cords for your, you know, um, electronics and iPhones and earbuds and things like that. So they had a rainbow cloud, a sloth and a dog as well that you could make. And those are made out of foam. They also had these gem sticker sets, which were new. They had the LOL Surprise, the Frozen 2. You can get the um, Disney Troll, I'm sorry, the Trolls World Tour and the Descendants. They had the Trolls World, World Tour sticker, marker, and um, notebook set. They also had Mickey Mouse Jr., Toy Story 4, and Wonder Woman, and The Lion King. Now let's move over into health and beauty and see what's new over there. Last week, I showed y'all they had these new jewelry two-pack nail polish sets. They had a few new ones that I found at a different Dollar Tree with some different color sets, so I wanted you guys to see those. Then they had an end cap with a lot of these little kids' nails, lip gloss, little nail colors and things, which make great stocking stuffers. And they just put those out, so I want you guys to see those as well. And then they have the double packs of lip gloss. They have the Troll Dolls, Toy Story, Minnie Mouse, things like that. So check those out as well. So over in the hair care and accessories, they had these L'Oreal Colorista Neon Green One Day Hair Colors. So it says it's for a bright blonde bleached hair 
or light blonde hair. It's a one day hair color for like streaks. They also had it in the neon pink. You can get lilac purple, which would work for a little bit darker blonde. And then they had the gold spray. They also had some new headbands with a metallic look to them with a top knot. And there was like a silver, like a dark ruby red color and a gold. They also had snap clips to match. You get two in a pack of those. And then there were these new head wraps. There were three different colors. They had the extra large elastics to match. I really like these a lot. I actually purchased the black set. You get four and they're really nice and thick. And then they had the um, elastics with the clips or the regular elastics as well. And they had some of their hair accessories like the hair spirals. And those came in four different colors. They had the hair beads and some of the hair cuffs. You could get those in the gold or in the silver. They all had different designs on them. They also had the Manichi headbands. These are really pretty. There were two different ones in the off-white with some flowers and pearls um, inside of the uh, flowers there. And then they had this really pretty dusty rose, and there were two different ones. One had white pearls. One had the pink pearls. They had a silver headband with a unicorn rhinestone applique on the side or the unicorn horn headband as well. They also had these furry headbands with the bows. There are two different colors in those. And now we will move over into the pharmacy and personal care items and see what's new over there. They had some new bath crystals and the peonies and pear and the bolero products and the coconut and wild berries. They also found some body souffle um, cream and lotion and they had the after shower cream as well. They had the body wash to go with those and then they had the three scents of the makeup sponges or wipes they had some bath bombs that look like stars or some gemstones in the two different scents and a bunch of different um ingredient rich bolero products they had the cleansing jelly facial balm the hydrating facial elixir and some of the jelly facial balm some of their complexion perfection face mask the coffee and green tea eye cream it's a brightening cream their hydrating milk serum and um, this one was in the blackberry and lily that's a facial serum and then they had these new himalayan salt nasal sprays so let's go over into the home decor i found these um candle votives they have had similar ones out before but i've never seen them with the tapered bottom and the gold trim um down there at the bottom and they have those in all four colors the blue the gold the red and in the green um then I found some of these tea light candle holders as a restock item from last year. These small glass jars with the gold trim and the gold bee on the top. They're shaped like a beehive. I thought those are really pretty. And then they had some of the um, robot figurines and spaceships. They come in blue, white, silver, gray, and in gold. I didn't see any of the gold ones. Those were gone already, but the other four colors were there. They had some of these small dinosaurs in the soft baby blue mint green and soft ballerina pink and they had restocked these glass jars i absolutely love absolutely love these i like to use them as succulent planters they have them in all four colors that was a restock item they're glass words that say slay in silver boss in gold and babe in pink they're made to look like um, balloon letters and these iridescent jars with the rose gold lids i also found some of the floating shelves this week i found them in white i've never seen the white ones before comes with all of the hardware to hang them they also have them in the black and then on this end cap way in the back of the store which i found in a couple of the stores now they have a lot of their pictures with the um wood beads at the top and some of their new frames have some matting already included like this gold frame here this love sign is new it's like a 3d effect here's a side view of it so you guys could see a little bit better what they look like up close and again i found these in the back of the store all the way in the back so keep an eye out for those because they might be in the back of your store they've also restocked their decorative mirrors i showed you guys a few weeks ago they'll sell really quickly they had some new frames with this silver um, paw prints on them and those go with a lot of their animal theme items they have out now like the cat that says all my kids have paws and gray has an easel picture background they had the black cat that says this house is not a home without a cat and of course they had the two dogs a black dog here that sees be the person the dog thinks you are in love with the paw print they had some of the shadow box art there were, um, I believe, four different ones of the shadow box art that I found this week. I'm not sure if there was another one or not. I did find four. They are all different color frames. And then they brought back these box art um, sets with the um, 
pom-pom balls that are like around the outside of them on the two sides and the top. And there were a few different ones of those. So now we'll move over into the home office, home library, and teaching tree section. They put out these extra large erasers. They had Disney Princess, the Frozen 2, and the My Little Pony Jumbo eraser with the um, Toy Story 4. They also restocked the bullet tip metallic pen uh, markers. They had two different packs that they usually put out around Christmas time. Some new gel pens and the Bic four color pens in the pastel colors. The metallic gel pens come in gold, silver, black, green, red, blue, magenta, and purple. They also had these secret message spy pens. It writes invisible and then you have an LED um, light at the top that you can see the secret message. And there were several different colors of those. They also had the stacked pencils back in. Two different um, styles for the Frozen 2. They had one that was Jurassic World and Trolls World Tour. Then I found some eight count packs of Crayola crayons. They had the pearl pastel, um, the glitter crayons, and then the cosmic pack. I also found some new journals. They had the Wicked Friends journal, uh, Disney Princess. They had LOL um, surprise dolls called Pool Party, some of the Jurassic World, and they had different notebooks with a cutout in the front of the um cover there and it had like a holographic um, paper underneath so you could see the design through the letters they had a couple of those they also had these list pads there were four different ones of those in the neon colors and pastels i also found these new foam dice you get four in a pack they have a nice square edge those would be fun to craft with they also had some new um, clipboards and some different designs and colors and those were the job brand so now we'll move over into housewares organization electronics and home maintenance they had these bins which i showed you guys last week the smaller ones where you get two in a pack for a dollar this week they had a lot of the different sizes restocked so these were an item they had last year um, around the time school started they have a bunch of different colors and sizes and i just took pictures so you guys could see the um, side by side view of the different sizes they had they restocked the buffalo plaid bins and they have their candles the pillar candles and a bunch of different colors this week so they had green orange purple red and we also found them in yellow and they had some new earbuds with um, the design on the outside and a colored cord there were a few different ones of those and then they also had their pot socks restocked there was a whole bunch of those as well so let's look over in the kitchen and pantry items this week I found the buffalo plaid coffee cups and the tumblers restocked but they were all the way in the back of the store on an end cap and I found them that way in two different stores so check there if you haven't found them yet I also found some cool gear chug water bottles which are a Walmart brand some larger cutting boards and a bunch of different magnets with different sayings on them about pets like one that says good meowing um, I just want to hang with my dog they also had this ceramic one that says cat kiss and all you need is a cat they also had this one here that says the road to my heart is paved with paw prints and don't stress me out then i found um, these two different um, bottle openers and can punch they had them in two different colors and now well, this week i made it out to six different dollar trees in our area and only one of them had their signs stocked this week so i was really excited to find those they had their santa and Snowman signs, a lot of their MDF board signs. Some of them are repeats from last year. There's a few new ones. My favorite is the Gnome for the Holiday sign. I did pick up one of those. They restocked the little red truck signs with the um, campers as well that say season's greetings. The jingle all the way and let it snow signs are repeats from the last few years. And they had the snow globes as well with the Santa and snowmen. And then I found... Um, this new sign that says joy, peace, and Noel. It's very similar to the new sign they put out for Thanksgiving or fall time. So this is definitely a new sign out this year. And then they had um, their tags back in with the red truck and the deer. They brought back their signs that looked like a sled. There were two different ones of those. And they brought back these signs that they um, brought out last year that say joy, believe, and peace. This sign was new. It says this house believes in Santa. And then these signs here are new. The one that says believe. They have let it snow with the snowman head. And then the ho 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 with the Santa face. 
They also had this one that says Santa stop here. They had their large tag signs that say Noel and Joy. And then they brought back the large signs that look like ornaments with the galvanized metal at the top. They also had a new sign that looks like a large um, light. They brought back the ones with the different things. It looks like it's on a wood pallet sign. And they have their large plastic bells back in, in the three different colors. Their um, felt Santa, their wreaths with the red bows and the snow tips. They also had the um, felt snowflakes, some of their um, nutcracker with the tinsel, the Santa with the ho 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 hat. And then they also brought back the large glitter um, deer. They had those in red and gold, the Merry Christmas signs, little red trucks with the tinsel as well as the um, campers with the tree on top. They had some new bottle brushes this year, which was really neat for a dollar. They have some large stars and then the tinsel little figures like the penguin. They had a snowman. They also had the three tiered snowflakes, which was um, the out last year. They have a small tinsel um, Santa boot, a penguin, and then this three tiered snowman sign. They also had the large um, candy canes in two different colors, the red and white or the red and green, and then the large ornaments with the tinsel and the bows on top. There were two styles of those as well. They also had the large stocking, a Santa hat, and those both say Merry Christmas on the front. They had the large tinsel trees and they had some novelty tints. They found um, the penguin. They're pretty big too. I was really impressed with the size. They had a Santa. Those were the only two I found with the character tints, but then they also had like lunch boxes and different tints. So a couple of them were new. I really enjoyed the new one that has all of the penguins on the front of it with it looks like a wood pallet look in the background. They have that in several different boxes. There were a couple that had a farmhouse style look to them. Um, the Tis the Season one was a new box, I believe, this year, which I liked a lot. They have a few with the see-through lids on top with the buffalo plaid designs down the side. I also found those to be a stacking box, so they have smaller sizes inside. They just had them all put together. They were putting so many out on the shelves this week. They have the round ones as well. The North Pole Tree Farm one with the red truck and the green truck on the side with the white trees, I think, is going to go really quickly. They brought back the smaller um, rectangular boxes with the um, ribbon across the lid. There were several different styles and designs of those, like snowflakes and things. And they also had the North Pole Tree Farm mailbox. Those, these are all the aluminum mailboxes. I didn't see any of the cardboard mailboxes out yet, just the um, aluminum ones so far. And there was a couple different ones, and they were all the same size. They were the larger size mailboxes that I found this year. There was quite a few of them. They also brought back these see-through bins with the lids and the handles. Um, I believe they were all the same designs we saw the last few years. Um, and then these um, clear bins with the lid on top. So those look like repeats from last year as well. They also had the cardboard boxes that look like gingerbread houses and things. And those are cardboard. Uh, I think I found three different ones in that style they had some new scarves this one's a repeat from last year but a new one with the christmas lights on it um, and then one that had um, the llama with the penguin riding on top they had just the red and white um, design and some with gingerbread on it and another one that had animals dressed up for the holidays i also found the um, two pack of trees they come in two sizes had them in the white and the green, and then they had these large, um, they're like a garland with uh, the pine cones on them. They brought back the buffalo plaid tumblers. They were just putting these out when I was there, and then they started to put out the cookies for Santa plates as well. And they did have a box still that they hadn't put out, and those are the charger plates that we saw last year as well. In toys, games, and entertainment, there were some new items they had. The troll doll play sets, they um, were just a dollar. I found two of them. They also had some new games. This one's called Pop and Hop. Comes with all of the balls and four game sides. They also had the Don't Let Them Pop game and the Don't Let The Marbles Fall game that you do have to assemble. They also had brought back out the bingo game set. I will say I bought this last year and it doesn't follow the traditional rules of bingo. So be aware of that. And they also had these small um, 
doll packs that look like almost like a Polly Pocket, but they're mermaids with different clothes that you can put on them. And they had some larger dolls um, wearing dresses, and they look similar to like, um, I guess like the strawberry shortcake dolls that they came out with a few years ago. So over in the Dollar Tree Plus items, which are items that cost between 3 and $5, they had these really cute signs that help you um, do a countdown until Christmas. They also had some light-up signs with glitter. They were all $5. There was quite a few of them. They had like a Christmas tree, um, a nativity scene that said peace, and then they had some of their tinsel decor, like a big snowman and a Santa Claus. I also found some mini tree toppers that light up for $5. And they had this style for $5 as well. Some of them had the multicolored lights and then the other ones had the warm white lights in them that look a little bit blue. They also had these really cute lanterns for $5. Um, they had some brushed gold with um, the plaid ribbon and a uh, snowflake at the top, or you can get the black with the buffalo plaid bow and the pine cone at the top. They also had these large barn doors and this little red truck for $5. I also found this giant snowman for $5, and then they had the tree toppers that look like a Santa hat. That was $3, as well as the one that looks like a snowman wearing a hat. That was also $3. For $5, they had the 200 count pack of multicolored lights and white lights, these miniature glass trees for $5, the pre-lit garland for $5, and then these adorable gnomes for $3. They were pretty tall. They were about a foot tall, and for $3, I thought they were an awesome buy. They also had these large bows for $3 that go on the top of the tree and then hang down the sides of the tree, and that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you come back next week to see what is new at the Dollar Tree.